Okay guys, we've done startups of Ford Flatheads and Chevy Big Blocks and Chevy Small Blocks. A lot of different things. Today, we're going to check out that recently built Ford 351 Windsor. Stick around, we'll just see what Ed and his boys have done. Will, hey there, you're another one of the team here at Five Star. Absolutely. Um, we've done a lot of startups and looked at different Chevy Blocks mm -hmm. recently, but yes. we haven't seen a Ford in a while. Yeah. Why don't you tell us what this is and what it's about? Uh, so this one's a, a, our turnkey variation of our crate engines. Uh, it's overbore 351 Windsor. This one's going in a, a 71 Mustang. So customer ordered it specifically like this. Uh, they have options as far as the covers and the intake manifold goes. And then this customer optioned it out with a, a serpentine setup that we source. Uh, these CVF kits are, are really good quality fitment kits. Uh -huh. um, a lot of options there too. Uh, this one has a mild cam in it, uh, comp cams, flat tappet variation, okay. uh, still hydraulic flat tappet, so it's as it would be originally. Okay. Uh, but uh, just a good daily driver uh, motor for his Mustang. And so when you bore it over by 30, does, how much does that change in cubic inches? About five, five so, to seven, yeah, depending okay. on, uh, you know, the stroke and everything. So it like might that. be a 356 or something. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. yeah generally, uh, uh, overboard. Uh, it's 355 is, is generally okay. what it is. So 356. All right. Now, as long as we're looking at Fords and, and modifications, what kind of stroker options are there on these blocks? So the most common one on the Windsors is a 408. Uh, we got another customer here local that's uh, purchased a 408 uh, for, for our, from us. So we source all the parts, get the crankshaft here, uh, connecting rods, we'll balance it and we'll build out a crate engine for him. In that case, generally the 408s will put aluminum heads on it. Okay. So um, give it a little bit more power. Those ones are close to 500 horsepower on those ones, uh, depending on how they option out the cam and everything. So. Yeah. Well, okay. So that's yeah, that jumps it up a good bit, doesn't it? Absolutely. You're are gaining those... 50 cubic inches on top of a in the same package, so yeah, it definitely helps out. Where do you get heads like that? Are those aftermarket sourced? Aftermarket aluminum cylinder heads. Yeah, we have we have a. Uh, cylinder heads that we, we have in-house um, for Ford and Chevy. Okay. As well as big blocks too. Really good. Yeah. Obviously you've got this set up to run in a little bit with the radiator and the mufflers and everything. Yep, exactly. And uh, I was noticing earlier, probably about 80 pounds oil pressure. That's really good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's about what you want on it. Um, by the time it's hot and dropping down uh, at hot idle, it's probably about 60 to 50, which is perfect. Yeah, yeah. great. Well, thanks for showing us around a little bit, Will. Absolutely. We look forward to more. Yep. I know it's cold.
running it in a little bit, letting it get warm. It's got a good radiator in it. 